She's such a nice girl, Eric. Why don't you like her? You only went out once. Prince Eric looked out at the cheerful grounds, feeling annoyed. You hardly gave her a chance. What'd she do? She didn't do anything, Mom. We just didn't have anything to talk about. Nothing in common. I'll invite Gwen. She practically lives here. You can't show up with the housekeeper. Nor can you just keep hanging around with your smelly bros. Hey, what's wrong with the bros? What's wrong with that nice girl, Zoe? She's very pretty. Yeah, she is. So then, what's the problem? It's just that she's... She's what, Eric? She's dumb and shallow and always on Instajam and... and so what, Eric? Isn't that what everyone's doing? I mean, yeah, but... Not Gwen. Come in. Pardon the interruption, Your Highness. You have guests downstairs. It's Fetch the... our guests some tea while I freshen up. Quickly, make haste. Oh, why does she have to be so rude? Gwen worked hard as a maid for the royal family when she wasn't in school or home helping her mother, who, though she loved Gwen, tended to be a bit aloof. Gwen was shy, yet very intelligent, and she had a thing for the prince. She liked his smile and found his boyish ways humorous. On one fine day, Prince Eric said, You work too hard. Take a break. Gwen couldn't believe it. Her heart raced with excitement. This was almost a date, she thought. A date which ended abruptly. Huh? Have you seen Eric? Uh, no. Oh, and the guests Gwen was referring to happened to be party planners. Oh, it's going to be fabulous! Ah, uh, yes, Queen, but the party is in two weeks. How many guests will be arriving? Well, I know who I'll be inviting. That all depends on who Eric will have over. Now, Eric, you can invite a few friends, but not the entire village. Also, I expect you to have a respectable date. We'll be taking lots of pictures for my Instajam page. <laughs> oh, the king will be so happy. Just wait until he sees me in my new gown. What am I going to do? My mom expects me to find a date in two weeks. And with that, Prince Eric set out for a long journey to a neighboring kingdom. It wasn't long before Prince Eric had made lots of new friends. You're capping, bro. Yo, that's not no way, bro. bro. Low key. Uh, bro. No way. He had even found a few potential dates for the party. Yeah, at my place. The guys will be there. And I can't lie, the food is good. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm like literally super hungry right, right now. Size. I'm like so starving. Awesome. Savage! Oh, yeah, I'll be there. Yeah, the girls will be there. Yeah, bro, bet. I'll be there. Yeah, you, bro. Count me in. Although Eric's friends thought he was poor, they also thought he was fun and looked forward to spending time with him after school. But not all of Prince Eric's new homies were so humble. So, like, what am I going to wear? I wonder what the weather's going to be like. Hey, good news. It doesn't matter because we're not going. I mean, Eric is new and we don't just show up anywhere. But he is, like, so nice. I don't mean for this to sound super judgy, but have you noticed what he's wearing? Ugh, yeah. I just, I can't. Yeah, it's a no. Yeah, you guys are right. Make extra, Gwen. Eric's bringing over some friends from his new school. Some nice girls. And some bros. Great. Just what every girl wants. To watch her crush find a date. If only he would ask me. But who am I kidding? The queen would never allow that. Whichever of the girls shows up tonight will be my date to the royal gala. But what if they all show up? Should be any minute now. Why didn't you tell us, bro? Bro, this place you is live here, bro. It's been an hour. Is anyone else coming, Queen? Why are you in such a hurry? I'm sure they'll be here. Much to the Queen's dismay, none of the girls did show up. But that didn't stop Eric and his new bros from having a, dare I say, classy time. <laughs> Stop it. No, no, that's how no it went. Way. Exactly. <laughs> you are not going to believe what I heard. 
I heard that the new kid, Eric, was a prince. No way! Shut up. I thought he was poor. I know, I know, right? Well, I also heard that he's having a big royal party. I bet it's gonna be all exclusive and stuff. I wonder who he's inviting. Yeah, right. I would love to go. I mean, he was kind of hot before, but now he's like super hot because he's also super rich. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> I wonder how big his castle is. Oh yeah, me too. You guys should be ashamed of yourselves. But for the record, he is pretty hot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no oh, here he comes now. Seriously, yes. Oh, here he comes. Here he comes. Just look at him. Look at him. Wow. Hey, you should have been there. I tried to save you guys a plane. Yeah, we're sorry too. We really wanted to be there, but we lost one of our chariot wheels. Yeah. Then we called Brittany's dad, and he took forever. And by the time he got there, we figured dinner was probably over. Yeah, like I really wanted to go, and losing that wagon wheel was a total bummer. Wow. Glad you guys are okay. Hey, maybe next time. Speaking of next time, I hear you're having a party this weekend. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. So funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but seriously. Well, you should definitely want us to go because we are like the it girls around here. And Daddy patched up the old wagon wheel, good as new. So looks like we'll see you this weekend. I'll be right there. So, do you think Eric believes us? I think he believed me. I'm a great liar. Like, who really cares? I'm super psyched. I've been wanting to go to a royal party for like ever. Well, I'm not just going to this party. I'm going to be Prince Eric's date. Oh my gosh! Like, when did that happen? I must have missed that part. <sighs> Shut up, Brittany. On a lovely morning at the castle, while Gwen watered her favorite plants, Prince Eric suddenly said, "Hey, Gwen, can I ask you something?" This is awesome. What could Eric possibly want to ask me about? Gwen's heart raced with the anticipation of Eric's question. Could this really be happening? Is he going to ask me to be his date to the royal gala? Uh, sure, of course. Well, have a seat. This is it, finally. So I met these girls at school. Ah, you've got to so be I'm kidding me! Dinner with Just try to focus, life. Gwen. And they were all like, yeah, I'll be there, I'm super hungry, yeah, yeah. And they didn't show. And now the bros are clowning me. And then, they told me some lame story about losing a wagon wheel. Uh-huh. I'm pretty sure it's a lie. But how can I tell? Hmm, let's see. Well, Prince Eric, I think that I might have an idea. When are you going to learn to drive this thing? Good news, guys. I think we're almost there. Just let me handle this. Hi, I'm Prince Eric's cordially invited guest, Madison. And this is Jordan, and that's Brittany. You said Madison, Jordan, and Brittany, right? You got it. Madison is supposed to be his date, so it should all be right there. Looks like you ladies are on the list. It says here I'm supposed to ask you all a question. Um, okay. Oh, like a magic password. Sure, something like that. Cool. Which chariot wheel did you lose? Um, back front, front. right. Oh, wait, right. No. This oh, is super gosh. confusing. Uh, this is really confusing. Like, when did we lose a chariot wheel? Wrong answer. Goodbye, ladies. You've got to be kidding me. What? No way. Well, that's kind of rude and embarrassing. Really? The Royal Gala turned out to be a great success. Everyone had an amazing time. Well, almost everyone. And much to Gwen's delight, the only guests Eric had were the bros. 
and Gwen herself. Well, kind of. Ha 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 